Now the floor is given to President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Ramaphosa. Your Excellency President Vladimir Putin, Your Excellency's leaders of BRICS nations, Your Excellency's leaders of global and regional institutions, Your Excellency Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Honorable Ministers and Excellencies. Allow me to begin by congratulating President Putin on chairing a very successful BRICS summit, as well as leading us all to adopt an excellent declaration from this summit. The BRICS outreach and BRICS Plus engagements are important platforms for developing strong ties amongst countries from greater global south and emerging markets. We should use these platforms to foster meaningful engagement. We should use the BRICS platform to contribute to social, economic, cultural, development of our peoples. We welcome <clears throat> the Russian initiatives that are aimed at strengthening a number of BRICS countries through the various measures that they have put on the table, such as transport networks and connectivity. This in many ways will help to find ways to integrate and deepen our interconnectedness in new and imaginative ways. The African continental free trade area will make a huge contribution itself to unlock opportunities for trade and investment for local and global businesses. It will create a number of opportunities that will lead to an integrated and connected continent. The single African air transport market is another flagship project of the African Union Agenda 2063. This is an initiative of the African Union to create a single unified air transport market in Africa to support the continent's economic integration. For BRICS and friends of BRICS, we need to use these projects to further connect the greater global south. The promotion of greater regional connectivity and trade facilitation can only succeed in an environment of peace and stability. Excellencies, South Africa is concerned about the military action by the State of Israel against the people of Gaza, which we have characterized as genocide, is deeply concerning. This genocide led South Africa to approach the International Court of Justice with a view to stopping the killing of innocent women and children in Gaza. We do believe that the world cannot just sit by and watch the slaughter of innocent people continuing. South Africa has been unwavering in its support towards all efforts aimed at the establishment of a viable Palestinian state, existing side by side in peace with Israel, within internationally recognized borders based on the 1967 borders, with East Jerusalem as its capital. And this would be in line with all UN resolutions, international law, and internationally agreed parameters. We do call on the international community and the United Nations Security Council to address this spiraling conflict. 
On our own continent, Africa, Sudan enters the, its second year of horrific conflict and devastation. This is another conflict that the world seems to have forgotten about. The protracted conflicts in the Sahel and Great Lakes regions in Africa persist. We must find lasting solutions to all these conflicts. We must remain committed to the peaceful resolution of all disputes through negotiation and inclusive dialogue. And we must safeguard the ability of states to pursue independent foreign policy. And we must safeguard the multilateral system because it is the cornerstone of international relations that fosters an environment of peace and development. Existing global institutional mechanisms need to be both strengthened and reformed to play a constructive role in the international peace and security. We cannot allow conflicts just to continue in perpetuity. We do need to find paths to peace. In our quest for a long, interconnected, just and prosperous world, we have the ability to foster an environment of peace through a focus on sustainable development. We must also continue to support nations and peoples who seek to end the cycle of conflict and choose the path of peace. I thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you, Mr. President of South Africa. South Africa is making a lot for the development of our group in, in order to make sure that the situation in Africa is also developing in a positive way. And now it is my pleasure to pass on the floor to the representative of Brazil.